extent where the higher the level of competition and the higher the level of performance that's required, the more sacrifice to your mental health that's taken. And it, for me, it's more of a, an after effect of like when the competition's finished or, you know, like when the event or whatever it is, when it's done, it's then like, it's trying to, for me, it's trying to like change and get out of that like completely focused like mental state of what you need to be in the run up until competition and at competition and then just return into like normal life and speaking to normal people about normal things and it not being about like the CrossFit or you know sport and performance and like eating a certain you have to eat like this and this time to, to make sure that all of these things added together like you get that extra like 1% to then just like to, just like as if the event's over and it's like the next day you're back at home and it's you know, I find it like I find it a hard flip um, a switch to flip just to kind of like go from the two and especially with CrossFit where it's because there's because it's not like super professional just yet but at the same time the level of performance like the demand of performance is like so high at the top um, there isn't really much support out there until probably recently I would probably say it's improved um, or even just um, not even support but just knowledge and just awareness it's just like any other sport really competing in the Olympics and 100 metres rent you know it's, it's, it's the same thing you just the next day you, you wake up and it's you just back to being a normal person people aren't chanting your name in the stands or you know people are, other people have stopped watching you now and they're living, living their life and then you're just sat there just like twiddling your thumbs trying to get out of this mindset you've been in for so long about everything building up for this event and then it just stops. Ooh.